Right, we're going to do a cloud, try and do a cloud slide today. So, we're going to try not to mix too far because we want to keep it quite fluid. I've got quite a lot of colours to blend <laughs> using fruit salad from uh, Mother Nature's Goodies. The mini haul I had the other day. Um, and I'm going to try and get this to be as quick as possible. So, let's see how we go. I've already blended up my... I've got cowling clay in here and some cream in here. I've already blended it in well. I've got a super fat over here, which is a mix of shea, cocoa and jojoba. Um, and I've got all of these colours here that you can see. So, I've got my lye water that's got some Himalayan pink sea salt and some um, silk in it, tussle silk. And then we're going to give it a little blend and not too much. I'm going to go in with my super fat. My hands aren't working very well. I'm supposed to be wearing my splints, but I took them off. Forgot to put them on. fragrance oil at the end because I want you to mix these up really don't I? <coughs> I'm going to use a white mica to whiten up the rest of the batch start accelerating but I'll do my very best <laughs> Attempt at the red. It's quite nice red. Used three different reds in this. I think I even dropped a, a drop of purple, just the tiniest of drops of purple into it. Deepen it up a bit. Lovely. Oh, so pretty. Lovely. Orange.
Nice banana we can have actually, isn't it? Green. We can mix two or three greens together for this one. I've also got a silver mica drizzle like, with some of my base oils that I'm going to try and drizzle in there like um, Claude does on some of his, um, which I will need one of these for. Ta -da. So, are you ready people? I'm going to get rid of my stick blender out of the way. Let's try with a little bit of fragrance oil and see how that goes. Do the green one first. Let's see what it does. That can always change. Seems to be okay. It doesn't seem to be accelerating, it's not rising. Right, let's see if this is actually going solid. Yes, it has. Look. Oh no. I'm going to have to use one of the different fragrance oils. That's a shame. It's not too bad. I could, I could work with it if it was, um, if I was doing a different design, but I'm not ruining my design for it. No way. No, it's rice and it's accelerated. I know that the rose doesn't accelerate because I've used that already. Should we use the rose? Oh, sure, we'll use the free shell, which will probably accelerate as well. It's a shame. I mean, it could be still usable, but it's just um, not going to be fluid enough for a Clyde slide. <laughs> I'm gonna do wish that they put on there whether or not it accelerates and that so I think that over that one. I wanna get this right because I, I said that I'd take Clyde Yoshida from Vibrant Soaps in it. If I did, and he wished me luck with it, so I'd like to be able to show him a decent end. I've never ever tried this before though. So, give me a bit of leeway. Okay. Stick that over there. <laughs> Feels okay, but then the other one did to it first. Let's get you right into the bowl, shall we? Don't let me forget that silver mica drizzle in between. I'm gonna go with in with some of this. <coughs> okay, and then we'll come in with the yellow. And I want to pull right in the middle. I think, well not right in the middle, but here.
I hope I'm doing it right, Clyde. Ooh, I like that.
Now, I'm going to bring in the mold. Let's go like this. And we go like this, apparently. It's glorious and beautiful. Excited to see what it's like when it's cut. I really enjoyed watching that pour in, that was beautiful. Okay, now I'm going to bang this out. <laughs> from uh, Mother Nature's Goodies. Okay, let's add the last bits of this on. And the silver glitter, uh, my car drizzle. Pick up some, or you have to take her some bath bombs at some point. She's ill at the moment. Is she? Yeah, she burst her eardrum and now. Oh gosh. Yeah, she's really ill. Yeah. Oh, I'm just going to take her out for a bit. Yeah, because obviously she's got her eardrum and she's got a bit of a cold. Yeah. 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 Yeah
I think she's put the same thing as me, but they've just given her a different medicine. You prob yeah, she probably caught it off you. It's just affected her eardrum more than her throat, whereas yours has gone onto your throat. Mine went onto my chest. Mm -hmm. uh, the infection just gets wherever it can go on a human. Because I did get it really Mine bad in my ear. Mine won't touch any of those bits, baby, they're so big. Because I did get it in my ear. Yeah, it was hurting. My ear was hurting with it as well. But I think it was because it was already I feel popped. like mine's like... My it, ear was yeah, already popped, bad, so bad it didn't for ages, like, you? pop again. Mm. But um, I had rotten ears with it as well. <clears throat> I didn't have too sore a throat though. But um, I feel like it was going away with the anti antibiotics and, and it wasn't quite enough and now it's come back. But look, like, everyone's getting ill now that I've been back at school. Yeah. Like everyone. Yeah, that's what the um, doctor did, like the nurse and that did say that there's a hell of a lot going around. And there is, I know there is. But um, it's because the winter lasted longer than usual. It's sort of done something to the bugs. <laughs> Feel like it's like wrong that they like they don't allow parents to be parents anymore. We're not allowed to make these decisions with your health and well-being and that. And it's like, well, I wouldn't mind, but you're not looking after my kids while they're there. Otherwise, you would be sending them home when they're really poorly, or they would feel like they could come and tell you when they're feeling really shit. And be expected to be taken home. Mm. Because I but the thing is, is they should at least phone me and let me find out whether or not you're well enough to go. Let me make that decision, you know what I mean? Rather than me having to let them make the decision for me as a parent. Yeah, you're getting run down. Yeah. Well, I don't think, I think that was the problem, was that you'd had several little bugs and not really got over them because I'd sent you back to school like, after one day off or whatever. So then when you got that big bug, it just really hit you hard because it, you were still run down from all the others. I'm just so tired, 24-7. So, like, yeah, but that could be if it is RA that's causing you to have bad knees and that. Like, because RA does make you feel like it absolutely shattered just constantly. Well, you've seen what I've been like with it, haven't you? You know how exhausted I am all the time. I could literally sleep for a month and still be tired. Mm -hmm. I hate it. It's one, one of the most upsetting things about having the disease is the tiredness, because you just feel like you can't, like when it hurts, you can't push through it. You feel more emotional because you're tired. <laughs> I've had a lot of sleep last night, but I'm like really tired really early now. It is swollen, I've seen that it is swollen already, mate. Harvey's oh, ankles swollen. are swelling as well. And like as soon as he goes back to school, he ends up with his ankles all cracking and everything. Because of the walk. I don't think it helps that you have to walk to and from school, you know what I mean? That's the only reason why I hate going to school sometimes. Because you're like that tired that you don't want to walk it. Yeah. <laughs> I'm proud of myself. Clyde, I love your work. I hope you enjoy mine. Thank you for the inspiration. Hello, Clyde. <laughs> I think that's the same. I was missing one last colour because obviously the first colour seized. Like okay, thanks colors. for joining me. See you for the cutting. Bye. Like that. Sometimes I do, sometimes I do it with the wire. I'd rather do it with the wire really, but my wires aren't that great and my cutters aren't that great. 
whereas this cup's a lot cleaner. Yeah, that's a different one. It's a jewelry wire. These are like guitar wires. That I'm really impressed with that. Do you like the swell? It's much more vibrant when I do it with the um, wire because it doesn't smudge it. It's a little bit wonky because the first cut was a bit wonky, but let's see if we can get a bit better as we go along. <laughs> <laughs> I need to get a proper car. If I Can ever get anything out of this, I will, um, out of putting these videos up, I, that'll be the first thing I buy. <laughs> I want the proper cutter. I just can't believe how much they cost when I know that I could build one if I was more able bodied at the moment. <laughs> I just damaged that edge with that pulling that up like that, but never mind. I do like that, I'm proud of that. I think I could have um, done it in bigger, like clumps, just do the one, two, three colours, like whatever, rather than doing it like several layers of the colours. I think that would have worked in, like it would have been more in your face, like, but that's still beautiful swirl. It's like nice because you get to see each of the colours. You've got the yellow, the orange, the reds, the pinks, the purples. <laughs> I'm pretty pleased with that. And that was the green that come up with the fruit salad fragrance oil. It's actually a lovely um, hard bar and it smells glorious. And so I'm going to have to work with that to make a nice soup because it accelerated and um, riced. So...
Okay, that's it for now, guys. Thanks for joining me. <clears throat> Much love. Breathe easy and see you again soon, folks. Bye. Bye.